Hi and welcome to our channel. Today I want to share with you something really awesome that we found out by pure accident. So when we were testing this hybrid Dahua thermal camera, we wanted to see if the camera can see through the smoke. So we filled uh, my friend's garage with smoke. We had this uh, smoke, smoke machine, you know, like you had in college probably. We made it full of smoke so you couldn't see with your own eyes what's really happening. And then the thermal camera could still see the person very clearly. And, you know, my friend was uh, attempting to dance and he was doing a great job. Now, the cool thing was when we switched to the night mode, because this camera not only has the thermal mm, lens, but also has the vis visual lens, which can go to night mode. And when we went to night mode, because we wanted to test how fast the camera is going to adapt, we noticed that something was blinking in my pocket. And it turned out it was my phone, my iPhone 12 Pro. In that situation, it was the Face ID sending, projecting those millions of dots. And then when I took out my phone, well, something that you've probably seen before um, on the internet happened. It projected millions of uh, dots all over and then recognized my face, um, even though it wasn't visible with your own eyes. But you can see it in the infrared. Um, you can see it in the night vision. So how is that possible? The cool thing is we can actually see three different things, three different, let's say, modes with the camera. The thermal image, the visual image, and the night vision, the near-infrared vision, yeah? Because when you look at the electromagnetic spectrum, there is the visible light, but there's also the infrared. And in infrared, you see there is the near-infrared, short-wave infrared, medium-wave infrared, and long-wave infrared. What we're interested in is the near infrared and the long wave infrared, which is simply the night vision and the thermal imaging. So that's exactly what you can see with this camera. And this is the part that is going to show you something amazing today. Now, for that, we need to switch off those lights and let's see what happens when I turn on the camera. And then we're going to see how the lighter actually works. All right, now let's see how the LiDAR works. Whoa, you see when I move my phone, it starts projecting millions of dots all over my face for face ID, right? You know how that works. Let's do that again. Boom. And you can see that actually on the face area, there is a huge density of those uh, projected dots so that the camera can have much more information on the face area. All right, now to be able to show you uh, how, this, how this looks like, let's go to the camera and let's go to the front camera and turn on the portrait mode. All right, let's start with that. So this is how Face ID works. Now you can see the whole matrix of dots. This is really amazing, look at that. Look at, look at what happens in the face area. You see that there is a much bigger density of those dots, right? You see what would happen here, there you go. So this is the matrix of millions and millions of those dots and that's being projected on your face to be able to unlock the phone with Face ID or to take those low light selfies or to take those portrait amazing bokeh you know sexy selfies all right let's finally switch to the lidar so we switch the camera around and you see that it's happening very similarly to the Face ID you see it also projecting millions of those dots in a matter of nanoseconds, according to Apple. We cannot even record that fast to be able to catch every single pattern. You see that there are many, many patterns being displayed. This is crazy. Look at this. All right. Now let me step out of the picture. So it's displaying many different patterns on the person or on the object, whatever it, it would be, to be able to focus very fast and to be able to take those night shots. And you can also, of course, make those 3D scans. There's more and more applications that allow you to scan the room or scan a specific object and have a nice 3D object stored in your phone. It's really, really cool. Look at this. So this is what the LiDAR is doing. You cannot see it with your own eyes. Right now I'm, po I'm pointing at the, at the normal camera. You cannot see anything. You see this is the front of the phone. It's really dark. And the back of the phone, you cannot see anything. You can only see that 
in the night vision, in the near infrared, right? Even in the thermal, in the thermal image, you cannot see. You can see there is a warmer area of the phone right here. It's probably uh, the processor. It's also really cool that you can see you can see different um, different areas of the phone uh, have diff slightly different temperature. You cannot even feel it with your hand, not really. And if I grab the phone with my hand and warm it up a little bit, it's probably going to leave a mark as well. All right, so this is how the LiDAR works. I think this is really amazing. This is the first time I've seen this and we actually found out by accident. Okay, let's try to turn on the lights. Wow, I think this is really amazing what you can uh, do with a tiny little device. You know, the miniaturization nowadays is just fantastic. Putting a LiDAR in a tiny and beautiful device like the iPhone 12 Pro is just mind blowing. Just as I think, it's really amazing that now you can have a thermal camera that used to be huge and expensive and just unreachable. Now it can be just this size. This is a thermal camera with AI, with a visual 4 megapixel lens, night mode. There's a speaker that could actually scare somebody off with an alarm. And there's a strobe light all in a tiny device just like this. So I think, you know, miniaturization, it's amazing. I simply love technology. Let's see what the technology brings us. And if you want to see some new amazing stuff, products and solutions from Daho Technology, subscribe to our channel and I hope I will see you soon.